Hello? Who's there? Oh, hi! It's me, Simon. My buddies are around here somewhere. We're right here, Simon. Oh, good. I knew they couldn't be far. In case you couldn't tell, we're scouts! And not just any scouts. We are scouts from the Simon Kenton Council, one of the largest Boy Scout councils in the country. And we're a part of it. Pretty cool, huh? Since my friends are nearby, I think I'll relax here for a little while. Yep, just for a minute. Ugh. Psst. Hey, buddy, you awake? Whoa! Hey, who are you? I'm Chip. You probably don't realize it, but you see me every summer out of camp. I try not to bother you and your fellow scouts, but I'm around. I get to check out all the cool things you're doing in scouting. You do? Of course. I've seen you learn how to shoot a bow and arrow, build a fire, set up a tent, and even cook your first scout meal. Okay, so maybe I did more than watching on that one. Next time, Marcel. But seriously, I'm pretty impressed by all that you get to do in scouting. Now that you mention it, there's a lot that I get to do because I'm in scouting. I've rappelled off the natural rocks at Camp Falling Rock, soared down the zip line at Chief Logan Reservation, gone swimming in the pool at Camp Lazarus, and hiked in the forest at Camp Oyo. So many adventures. And you've been there the whole time? Well, me and my buddies. What you do while you're exploring the great outdoors is important to us. And not just the cool experiences, but all that you are learning too. I like to think of my home as your classroom in the woods, and Simon Kenton Council makes that classroom possible. How do you mean? Think about it. Because you are part of Simon Kenton Council, you get to enjoy scouting in a safe, quality environment at any one of their four camp properties. Your parents receive regular communications through the website and the scouting newsletter. You have the benefit of enjoying year-round activities like free STEM workshops. And of course, you have summer camp experiences with some of the best staff in the country. That's right. And I know it takes the support of all of us locally to make scouting happen right here in central and southern Ohio and northern Kentucky. Chip, did you know that when my parents signed me up for this classroom in the woods experience and paid the Boy Scouts a registration fee, that the fee went straight to the national office of the BSA? You mean Simon Kenton Council didn't keep any of that? So you have to wonder, how can they afford to deliver such a great program locally? It's not easy, but my mom explained it to me. You see, think of the true cost of scouting like this forest. What you see from the ground accounts for about 20% of the true cost of scouting. Now, think about it from above the trees. And many people don't even realize that 89% of all funding goes toward direct service to youth. I had no idea what it took to make that all happen. So, what has to happen to keep providing my home and your classroom in the woods experience to so many scouts? I know what my parents do, and my grandparents too. It costs $150 to provide the full scouting program to one scout like me every year through Friends of Scouting. When everyone participates, it means that Simon Kenton Council can continue to deliver a quality program to me and my fellow scouts. And when a family can do more, they are helping a family who might not be able to cover the full cost of the scouting program for their child. Last year, Simon Kenton Council provided more than $49,000 in financial assistance to scouts in need. Cost should never be a reason for a boy to miss the opportunity to participate in the scouting program. That's right! So when a family has the ability to give more than $150, they are making a difference in the life of their scout and so many others. Why is it important that families contribute? There must be so many sources of funding out there. A lot of people think that, but look at the breakdown. You see, all funding sources are important, but unfortunately, trends have not been positive when it comes to many of the sources people assume are funding scouting. On a positive note, we have seen growth in many categories of individual contributions, including those of the Volunteer Executive Board and the paid staff of the Council. They believe in this mission, and they make contributions to support it too. It all sounds important to me. What do our parents and friends need to know to make this happen? It is. There are just a couple of easy steps to make a gift. First, decide how much your family can pledge. 
Remember, $150 supports one scout for a full year. Next, fill out the pledge card. How does a pledge card work? I'm glad you asked. A pledge card indicates the amount of your gift and gives you several options for making payments. This includes payment over several months. Many families find it easiest to make a pledge of $150 or $250 knowing they can pay that contribution in smaller portions until the end of the year. Just think, if you make a $150 pledge in February, you are only paying a little over $13 a month. And don't forget, many employers match donations. Just think how easy it can be to double your donation to scouting. No matter how you plan to give, it's important that you sign your pledge card and make your pledge today. Hey, Simon, wake up. What was that? Chip? Oh, Simon, who's Chip? It's time to go clean up our campsite. Psst.